Hello. So about now, the salmon or the steak is about kicking in, isn't it? <laughs> all right, let's all stand up maybe. Just take a break um, and just kind of get revigorated and maybe meet your neighbor. Just take an opportunity to talk to somebody else. <laughs> all right, just stretch. <laughs> but don't leave because <laughs> this is going to be fun. All right, so now I've lost you all. <laughs> One of the things that we want to do for this is we want to volunteer. So I'd love to have somebody come up to volunteer to actually try the HeartMath Interbalance or M-Wave on stage. You want to try it? All right, come on up. You, <laughs> all right, thank you. Now, all of us have a story, right? OK, now it's time to pay attention. <laughs> All of us have a story. You heard it from Dave. You heard it from everybody. You heard it from Stephen. You hear it from Jamie. Everyone has a story on why they're here. And I think what's important is that we share our knowledge of how we bulleted our way through whatever we're overcoming or whatever we're moving to. So that's what this conference is about. Now, I have a story but we don't have time to tell it. <laughs> it's pretty significant, and I just want you to know that one of the reasons I'm at HeartMath is because of, the, of my purpose to help to transform humanity and make a difference in this world. No matter how big or how small is all of our role at this time to positively influence our own lives, to take care of ourselves, and therefore take care of others and the world. So I hope that we're able to do that through our inner game. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. So um, HeartMath has been in the business of heart rate variability and stress management for over 20 years. We're uh, scientifically validated and science-based. Dave and us uh, have been working together for years. He's one of our biggest champions and recommends his heart rate variability training through the HeartMath M-Wave or inner balance to all of his clients. It's required to be bulletproof executive. <laughs> the, uh, the second thing is Stephen and I and Jamie have been talking for, uh, geez, for six or seven months about how to incorporate heart math into enabling people to overcome the uh, struggle part to enable you to get into flow and then be able to recover afterwards. So we're here at the conference. We have an exhibit over by the Flow Dojo. We'd love to see you come by, get coaching, uh, tr test out the units. You can take some home if you like. We've, we've got them for sale. But it's really an opportunity to see how you can bulletproof your Flow Dojo experience and actually see how it works. We'd love to see your experience and love to see you there. So uh, let's start it. I'm going to do a real live demo. I don't know this gentleman. You are Chris. 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 Okay, Chris, where are you from? Uh, Ponte Vedra Beach, Florida. And what do you do? Uh, coach and trade. Okay, so you're probably pretty advanced. So you, you know your biophysiology pretty well? No. <laughs> Liar. <laughs> this is our inner balance uh, trainer on I iOS. We have it on iPad and iPhone. Um, I'm going to demonstrate our M Wave Pro version because it is easier to use technically here to connect it up. So come on over here. You've never, are you familiar with HeartMath? No, um, just through Dave. Just through Dave. You've never used it before. Okay, let's give him lots of support. Okay, <laughs> I click it to your ear. So basically, what we're talking about is um, heart rate variability. How many of you are familiar with um, heart math and heart rate variability? Excellent. OK, how many of you actually have one of our devices? OK, tell your neighbor about it. And then um, the, uh, basically, so I won't go through the whole science of heart rate variability, but I think it's fundamentally to know that heart rate variability is a core physiological measurement that impacts your entire sense of being. We have been working with the Palo Alto Prize, which is a longevity prize, an X Prize that just launched uh, in September with uh, Jun Yun and the Palo Alto Investor Group. And they are giving a million dollars to a company or organization that is go showed to prove that they can cure aging. And heart rate variability is the measurement for which they're going, one of the measurements they're showing that uh, it actually works to slow down the aging process or actually reverse it. So heart rate variability is very important and it's not just about monitoring, not just measuring it. You actually have to train and you have to have an intervention. And that's what HeartMath knows better than anyone else. All right. 
So this is our M-Wave Pro device. It actually has, um, we have multiple games and visualizers with it. Um, there's a lot of options for you. You can also track your history over time, and you can see your points and improvement through our cloud system. So I'm going to go ahead and walk him through our technique. I should bring my glasses. <laughs> OK. So while he's doing, you comfortable? Very comfortable. OK. So it's using an infrared sensor attached to his earlobe. We use the earlobe because that's uh, less variable in people. Uh, thumbs and fingers often are, are too thick or too not enough circulation. He's got a great pulse. You can see the pulse on the bottom there. On the top is real-time HRV, and on the bottom right is the coherence score. And what we're looking for is to, to synchronize your breathing, your heart, and your brain. And that synchronization occurs at 0.1 hertz, for those of you who are familiar with the uh, power spectrum. And in that is when you are facilitating cognitive function and disintermediating that fight-flight response. So that's really what you're looking for, is to be able to move through struggle into flow. And, um, oh, very good. I knew I should have put him on a different challenge level. Okay, so he has, his real-time heart rate variability is on the top there. And as he achieves high coherence, he's 100% high coherent, you can see how his zone is increasing. And he, his accumulative score will actually show when he gets into the zone. And the goal is to increase your achievement points as well as to increase the time that you are in a coherent state. Is there anything stressing you in your life? <laughs> is there anything? And anything at the moment that kind of is affecting you at all? Mm. Stage, fright. Stage fright, okay. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> you see how when you are stressed, it, it's, it can be actually imaginary or very real, your coherent state will drop. And just by asking him the question of what is stressful in his life, he jumped from uh, down to low coherence. So I'm going to help him get back. So you can see how this can be used to help you retrain your physiology as well as what your think thoughts and feelings are to enable you to get into that optimal training state. So let's try to go back into coherence. So what I'm going to ask you to do is focus your attention. Everybody can do this. If you want to take a break, you can all do this together. You want to focus on the area of your heart or your chest, not mine. And then you want to take a nice deep breath. <laughs> Yes, I have a sense of humor. That also helps when you, to get into coherence. So focus on the area of your heart or your chest. And what you want to do is take a nice, deep, slow breath in and a slow breath out to a cadence of five seconds. So five seconds in, nice, big, slow breath. And back out. And keep that breathing pattern going. As you do that, you want to engage the power of a positive feeling. So while you're breathing this slow rhythmic pattern, you want to feel a time that felt absolutely amazing. It could have been a ski jump, or it could have been the face of a loved one, or, the, or even just being here. So just engage that positive feeling. And keep the breathing going. And did you notice when he started to do this, he went from red to blue to green. There's a huge amount of physical and physiological power in engaging, the, uh, engaging your positive emotions, emotional state and synchronizing your breathing with your heart and your brain. Do you feel a little bit different? Do you, can you tell the difference? I'm just concentrating on your chest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's apparently working. <laughs> All right, mate, let's everybody give him a great big hand for, uh, for helping us out here. OK. All right, so the, the, I, I thank you very much for your assistance. Uh, so that actually shows you, and he's never used this before. Obviously, he's a trainer. But even within the training, he's able to see the change that occurs when he's thinking and feeling something different. The, you can use heart math to actually change your physiological baseline and enable you to, have, to operate from a more positive state that doesn't burn you out. And this can be done, and we're in HeartMath, we want it, we're working on a couple of new things. So every, who has got a smartphone? You guys got a smartphone? I got 47 seconds. OK, if you would like to participate in an upcoming baseline shift study, or if you would like to participate as a beta test for our upcoming assessments, really cool, had hoped to show you today. If you would like to be part of that, send an email to me at info, I-N-F-O, at HeartMath, H-E-A-R-T-M-A-T-H dot com saying, Catherine, get me in the study. <laughs>
and I will make sure you're part of it. Okay, so I really want to have you guys engaged. You know what you're doing. I love your feedback. There's a few of the, you that are already working with us, and I really want to thank you for your time. Power up, power up each other, and remember to do it with heart math. Thank you very much.